Hey everybody, Gavin Farrell here from the Cinematic VR production company Panox. I'm here today making this video just so that you guys can see the new Mystica VR preset that's been released. This allows owners of the Panono VR camera system, it's a still imagery camera system, to stitch their images outside the Panono ecosystem. Uh, former and current owners of the Panono will know that they had a closed ecosystem in which you could only stitch their images using their cloud software, which was actually a huge pain in the butt um, in many cases because you had to upload the footage, wait for it to process on the cloud, download it, the final stitches, and you didn't have a lot of wiggle room to actually improve the stitch. Well, today I have some really good news for you. Now you can actually import that footage into Mystica VR and use all your Mystica VR stitching techniques and tricks to get that ideal Panono 360 image. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, Mystica VR users on Facebook. If you are a member there, you'll know that our good friend Roman at SGO has recently posted the link to the SGO preset, which is available on the SGO forum website. Go ahead and download that zip file, that GRP file, which will have the new Panono camera preset. Once you've got the preset, make sure you put that in your camera presets uh, folder for Mystica VR. Then the next thing you want to do is you go to panono.com and you search for the UPF converter tool. Download the version for your appropriate operating system and install that. And then the next thing you want to do is go to your Panono uh, user profile and kind of search through your uh, image gallery for the panorama that you want to stitch or restitch in Mystica. Go ahead and kind of pan around and make sure it's the right one. Then on the top left corner you've got your uh, your ability to open it up and you want to go ahead and download that UPF file. Um, that's going to down, make sure you download it somewhere that you can quickly locate it. Now you want to go ahead and open up the Panono UPF converter tool and uh, go ahead and locate the UPF file that you just downloaded from your Panono website. And once you locate that, you want to actually click and drag that file um, to the right side of the window, the, the window that says Step 2. That was, uh, that was something that threw me off on this tool. Uh, so once you do that, then go ahead and hit the Convert tool, save it to a location that you'll be able to remember and find easily. Go ahead and convert the file. And one thing to note, you can batch process uh, uh, many files with this tool. So I'm just showing you uh, an example with one file for this, for this demo. Okay, now that you've got that converted, go ahead and open up Mystica VR. Uh, you want to create a new profile, a new project setting, and you want to make sure that it's uh, 8192 by 4096. That's the maximum size the Panono can render out an image. Uh, once you've created that project, go ahead and open it up. Okay, now you want to locate those uh, unzipped UPF files. Uh, in this case, you'll see that there's actually more than 36 of them. That's because it was shot in HDR. You want to make sure that you import the files as individual images. This is a really important step. Um, currently, this preset does not handle HDR images out of Panono, but uh, Roman from SGO says, tells me that they are working on that. Right now, I'm choosing the middle exposure bracket set. Now you can see all the 36 individual images have been imported into Mystica VR. We want to go ahead and load that preset up, the Panono preset that we downloaded from the SGO forum. Go ahead and import that, and voila, we've got a good first step here. Next thing you want to do is just go to Positions and Prove Offset. Uh, this might take a little while to kind of process because it's actually analyzing all 36 cameras. So that's, that's um, fairly uh, robust on, on older systems. Just give this a second to process, okay. Now we wanna go to positions, improve angles. Let that process for a few seconds. Okay, so we've got a fairly nice stitch here. Now let's turn this on uh, to see how many cameras we've got. There's all 36. What's really great about this is you can go in and individually tweak uh, the various blending on edge uh, edge blending using that tool. Um, so it gives you a lot of control. Now we'll turn on VR mode and kind of pan around and see if, uh, if we're happy with the stitch. 
Uh, the preset works really fantastic out of the box. I haven't really felt like I needed to actually go and tweak any settings, but just having it in here gives you that, that option. Now you want to go ahead and export this image. We're going to select a JPEG here um, and go ahead and export that out. And then after we export that, we're going to go ahead and just open up that image and see if it's uh, everything that it's cracked up to be. And there it is. And it's that easy. So feel free to email me if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, happy Panono Mystica VR stitching. Find out more about our exciting work at panogs.com or follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.